Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into the recent chaos surrounding Mortal Kombat 1 and why some fans are up in arms about the new character designs. Let's get right into it. So, Mortal Kombat 1 has just released its newest DLC, the Kalos Reigns pack, bringing back some fan-favorite characters like Syrax, Sector, and Noob Sabot, but not everyone is thrilled with these updates. Specifically, the new looks for Syrax and Sector have sparked quite a bit of controversy. Fans are upset because Syrax and Sector, who were originally full-on cyborgs, are now depicted wearing robotic suits. On top of that, their new designs have gender-swapped these characters, making them female. Many players feel that this move strays too far from their intimidating original cyborg appearances. One Reddit user, Fayabs, even compared the new designs to the Marvel superhero Iron Man, expressing disappointment that they no longer resemble the classic killer cyborgs that fans loved. This backlash has been pretty vocal on social media, with a lot of fans feeling that the new designs miss the essence of what made these characters so iconic. Syrax and Sector first appeared in Mortal Kombat 3, adding a robotic twist to the franchise's roster of colorful ninjas. They've been a staple ever since, though they haven't been fully playable since Mortal Kombat X in 2015. This new DLC marks their first full return in almost a decade, which makes the controversy even more intense. Interestingly, the new looks for Noob Sabot haven't received the same level of criticism. His updated design, featuring black and green robes, seems to be more in line with his original ninja aesthetic, which might explain why fans have been more accepting. Despite the controversy, the Karo's Reigns pack is still bringing in some excitement, especially with the addition of new characters from other franchises. Players will soon be able to fight as Ghostface from Scream, Conan the Barbarian, and the T-1000 from Terminator 2 when the DLC officially drops on September 24th. It's also worth noting that Xbox players have reported major issues with Mortal Kombat 1's latest patch affecting gameplay and adding to the frustration. These technical problems, combined with the divisive character redesigns, have created quite a storm within the community. So what do you think about the new looks for Syrax and Sector? Do you prefer the original cyborg designs or are you open to the new interpretations? And how do you feel about the gender swapping of these characters? Let us know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with all the latest gaming news. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.